Welcome. The following video or audio are the study of the Bible, chapter by chapter, verse by verse of the King James 1611 Bible. Our family welcomes you to our household Bible ministry time. You may watch and listen with us. Our goal has been from Genesis to the book of Revelation. Each chapter by chapter we try. And topical preaching and teaching aids you can find by searching different topics. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. Come and appreciate the word of God for our spiritual growth, our development in the word of God by these lessons. Please feel, feel, please feel welcome to upload and share our Bible study with family and friends. Like us, subscribe, write a comment, let us know you heard the message. The video or audio are not copyrighted and should be used and not abused. Thank you. Galatians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father. All right, let's stop right there for a minute. Apostle. There are three qualifications for apostle. Now, this is going to be, this is very important. Because there's religions out there who claim to be apostles. You had to see the Jesus alive. You had to, when he was a man on this earth, you had to been baptized at John's baptism. And then you had to see the resurrected Christ. So, Paul to say he's an apostle not by men, but by God. Jesus Christ tells us he was baptized at John's baptism. He's seen Jesus through the Gospels. And we know he saw the resurrected Christ on the road to Damascus. Who raised him from the dead? Who? God raised Jesus Christ. Again, the resurrection makes us Christians. That is where religion lies. Religion lies at the cross. Christianity is at the empty tomb. Both were by scripture. But you can't have the cross without the resurrection for salvation. And all the brethren which are with me. So there's multitude. Many more than two. Unto the churches. Plural. Of Galatia. So there are many churches that this epistle is going out to. Grace be to you, and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins. There you go. How can you say works done it after the passage like that? For God so loved the world that he gave. All right. If God gave, and this says Jesus Christ gave himself, well, guess who God and Jesus is? They're one and the, they're one and the same. He might deliver us from this present evil world and this world is evil it's wicked I just had a message on my computer sorry so there's nothing good about this world according to Paul Jesus said marvel not the world hates you know that it hated me for where this world is just wicked it's evil and it's against God all they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. I know you get tired of me to hear me saying that scripture over and over, but it's true. You are not supposed to be friends with the world. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. No more. According to the will of God and our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. That'd be great. If that was the end of the letter. How you guys doing? One of them, great to be God. All right, close. Have a good day. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you unto the grace of Christ. They removed themselves from God. This church, starting right off, their standpoint is they stepped away from God. 
Now Paul is going to write a letter to edify him, to correct him. Into the grace, unto another gospel. 2 Corinthians 11.4 Did you deny when we did 2 Corinthians that, oh, there can't be another gospel? Here it is. Here's another one. There's another good news that crept in the church that's not the good news of God. Which is not another. But there are there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Perverts. You thought perversion was just sexual. Here are Bible perverts. And they are troubling this church. And they are perverting the gospel of Christ. How Christ died for our sins according to Scripture. Was raised from the dead according to Scriptures. They're perverting that. They're changing it. But though we, us apostles, the brethren that are with Paul, good name men in the Bible, or an angel, Morari, Boloni, whatever you want to call him, I've seen this this angel, you know. Realms of angels. New age. Muhammad saw an angel. Though we are an angel from heaven. Ooh. You know there's lost angels in heaven right now? And Paul just told us that an angel from heaven, which wouldn't be one of the good ones, which would be a, a one after Satan, would come down and teach you another gospel. Hebrews warns us about entertaining angels unawares. So let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 8. And, uh, no, not 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, see what 13 says. 11, 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers. That's what we're seeing now in this church called Galatia. Transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an... There it is. Satan has come into the congregation as, what's it say? An angel. So, most of these religious angels are Satan. As an angel, they're white, they're beautiful, they're magnificent, and they're, what did the Bible say? Scripture with scripture. So, though we are an angel from heaven, Satan goes to heaven, Job 1 and 2. Or it can be one of his angels. Uh, Jude speaks about it. I forget what verse. Don't ask me what chapter. So, already we open up Galatians. We see a church has got another gospel. We see by Paul who does not lie to us. There is the ability to have an angel teach you wrong. So when somebody comes to you with angel. That's not this church age. Church age has 66 books inside one book. We don't do signs. We don't do wonders because we have the complete book. When they say, oh, an angel gave me a revelation or an angel told me this or I seen an angel in a tree. I seen an angel in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's foul. The angel came to Cornelius and he told Cornelius, go get Peter. An angel cannot preach the gospel because he does not know what is to be redeemed. No angel can be redeemed. If an angel falls from grace, he's going to the lake of fire with Satan. He'll be cast out with Satan, the third of the angels. I don't know how many third of the angels are, because I don't know how many angels there are. But here's a warning. If religion would pick up their Bible and read their Bible all the way through, they would say, hey, wait a minute. Here's an angel that tells me if I kill people, I get virgin. No, it's no, 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 no. That's not good news. It's not God's good news. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you that than that which you have preached unto you. All right. What's the gospel? 
Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, was buried, and rose again according to the scriptures. Now you take all these religions that are based upon angels. That's not what they're teaching. How can Jesus Christ go into North America when Acts chapter 2 says he went to God the Father? Something wrong with Moroni, Baloni, whatever his name is, I. Let him be accursed. Any man or any angel that preaches against the true gospel, let him be accursed. So if an angel does come and teaches you the false gospel, that's it, he's done. He's going to be into the lake of fire. He is going to be cast out with Satan in the book of Revelation. He's not going to be saved. That angel that came to Cornelius did it perfectly right. Go get Peter. Now, I'm not going to tell you an angel can't, can't come to you. I'm not going to say that because Hebrew said. But if that angel tells you contrary to the Bible, you better know your Bible. Then let him be a curse. Now, if angel comes up to you and says, listen, go get this Bible preacher. Go get someone with a Bible. Cornelius. Okay. You say, can that happen today? What does Hebrews say about angels? But if he preaches another gospel, he preaches something that's not according to the Bible for this that for this day and age. Let him be accursed. If somebody comes to the pulpit and says, Oh, by works, let him be accursed. Be baptized to be saved. Let him be accursed. That's not the gospel. Better know what the gospel is. As we said before, so this has been said over and over to Galatians, so say I now again, this is a repeat, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that have, than you have received, let him be accursed, double, twice, verily, verily. It is very important, if somebody comes to you with other than the gospel of Jesus Christ, let them be accursed. So look at religions. They are cursed by a man who does not preach the truth. One church says you got to eat and drink Jesus Christ. That's not the gospel. That's not salvation, but God's way. And then there are all kinds of other baloney nonsense out there. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I speak to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be a servant of Christ. Listen, I'm not going to butter toast your message. I'm not going to sweet talk you. I'm not going to give you flowery messages. I'm not going to make you feel good. I am going to preach what God tells me to preach. And I don't care how you feel about it. I don't care what you have to say about it. It is what God has told me to say. And like over here, he says, I, I, I'm going to come to you with sharpness. 2 Corinthians. When Paul dealt with people, man, he put it right to them exactly how God wanted it to be. It was a nail, he said it was a nail. If it's a sin, he didn't say it was a sin. He named the sin. And probably named the people with it. But I certify you. You know what certify means? Means validation, written, written, written record, a signed, sealed document. Certification that this thing is what it says to be. This is a legal term. You could take this to court. Brethren, talking to saved people in Galatia. That the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. No man came up with this. Christ died for our sins according to scripture, was buried and rose again according to scriptures. That was not came up by any fairy tale by any man at all. For I neither received it of man. Paul did not go to Bible school. Who's at Bible school? Who is teaching the students? 
men. And what is the classification of three quarters, if not seven eighths of the Bible schools in America today? They go in as Bible believers and come out as morons. We, we went, a guy who was going to Bible college came out and couldn't tell you what thrice meant. Couldn't tell you thrice meant three times. Great. And that his college had some kind of monument to all the 12 disciples that they would go out every day and, and whatever, garbage. Neither was I taught it. Uh-oh, Paul didn't go to Bible school. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. So look where John and Paul is. They both write the seven churches. They both have the revelation of Jesus Christ. Don't dare call Revelation the revelation of John because you ru you ruin the, the cross reference of Galatians 1.1 1, 1 and Revelation 1.1. 1, 1. They're both the resu uh, resu the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'm going to say resurrection. Did you get that? You know, there's two interesting studies you want to have with. Compare Adam and Noah. The facts enemies of those two men are remarkable. Study Paul and John. The facts enemies of those two men are excellent. John writes a gospel that we can preach to lost people. Paul gives us the, the, the church that we can preach to lost people. For ye have heard of my conversion in time past in the Jews' religion. Ooh, religion. Religion in the Bible is never good, that word. Can you honestly read the Bible right now and say Jews' religion? Say, well, that sounds good, something I want to join. And I think religion is two or three times. One place, James. So... My conversion, you've heard about it. I've told you about it. Telling your testimony how you got saved is, is the greatest tool you got. I, I don't know what to say to anybody. I, 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 tell them how you got saved. And then let the Holy Spirit fill your mouth. Nothing wrong. Hey, you're saved. You know how to done it? Go for it. Might be the best. And... and don't be surprised people call you liars. I've had that happen. All right, Jews religion. How that beyond measure, I persecuted the church of God and wasted it under the Jews religion title. Under the religion of, of uh, under the title of religion, I killed people. Islam, Catholic, uh, uh, the Episcopal Church in America, the Congregational Church in America, religions, the Church of England, religion kills. That's one thing different from religion and the gospel. The gospel is Christ died. Religion, we kill. Get that. And profited. That's not profit as a man to tell you the future. Notice the words Paul uses. And profit in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation. Oh boy, I, I, I made it to the top. Paul was ranked up there with the elders, the most important people of the religion. But being more exceedingly zealous for the of the traditions of my fathers, the law told Paul to kill people who blaspheme God. Problem is, what the people were doing was following God and in the Messiah, they just were blind to it. But that's what the law said. Paul, before he got saved, was obeying the law completely and he was killing people. In the name of the Jewish law. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb. Jeremiah 1.5 Okay. Famous preacher. Here's where I got to cross his line. 
if there if the womb is not life, then what do you do with Jeremiah and Paul? Had they would have been aborted. The Bible says that there is in that womb I called you. Called what? A human being. And called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen. So Paul knows his ministry is to the Gentiles. And he preaches Jesus Christ. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. He didn't ask himself. He didn't seek himself. He didn't seek others. We know when he when he got saved and he ended up oh I forget Simon's house and Agabus came and said, Brother Paul, receive your sight. You know what happened right after that? And he was baptized. Man, he was preaching. You know what happened in the next few verses? They hated him. They had to lower him over the wall in a bucket because he wouldn't keep his mouth shut for Jesus. And he knew nothing. Absolutely nothing did he know but how to get saved. But he knew the scriptures. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. But I went to Arabia. That's an interesting place. So, Acts 10, 11, I think, 12. where was Paul? Where did he go? He went to Arabia. He's gone there for a while. He got saved. He's preaching. He, he's lowered out of the basket. He, he goes before the disciples, and he's gone. And returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter. And abode with him fifteen days. But other apostles saw I none save James, the Lord's brother. So there's another James. James, the son of Zebedee, and James, the brother of. What do you do that with a cap as a Catholic? Mary had no other children. Well, they were they were together as a as a spiritual relationship as a brother with brother they were brethren okay look at verse 11 read that one again i certify you what so don't you think paul knew the difference between brethren and brother oh uh, gotta look at the words save james the lord's brother Paul knew what brother was, and Paul knew what brethren were. So, shot that one down. Mary did have other children. Now, the things which I write unto you, right now, what we're studying, behold, before God I lie not. Ooh. So, Galatians is not a fairy tale. Afterwards, so the testimony that he's told you, there's no lie. Afterwards, I came unto the regions of Syria and Sicilia, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. You remember that part where they, where they I think it was it Barabbas had to bring him into the room because they feared him, and he told him, "Say, listen, this is Paul. He's converted, man. He's preaching Jesus Christ. Will you let him in?" In Book of Acts, but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preached the faith which one which, uh, which once he destroyed now go back to acts chapter 9 he was going to meet with the disciples there oh no this is paul he's the one going to kill us i, I think it's Bar barabbas or barnabas or i don't know one of those disciples brought paul in and said hey he's a christian now Let's, let's go back here. Acts chapter 9. Let's give the guy credit. Let's, Acts chapter 9. And we'll start in verse 18. We'll just read a few verses here. And this is what it's talking about. He's been saved. 9.18. And immediately there fell from his eyes. As it been scales, he received sight forthwith. And arose and was baptized. When he had received meat, he was strengthened. Then 
was Saul sent days with the disciples which were at Damascus. And straightway he preached Christ in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not this he that destroyed them which called on the name in Jerusalem? And came hither for, for that intent that he might bring them bound into the chief priests? But Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which were at Damascus, proving that this is very great. He just got saved. And after that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. But their lying awake was known to Saul. And they, and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. Paul was a basket case. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him. And believed not that he was a disciple. And Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him. How he preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. And he was with them coming in and going out of Jerusalem. And he spake boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus. So there it is. There is a story that we're learning in Galatians 1. We pick up right from Acts 9. And we learn a little bit of difference in there. He goes off to Arabia for what? Probably God dealt with him. God learning him. Showing him some things. But they heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preached the faith which was once, once he destroyed. So there we go. That was Acts. And they glorified God in me. So there's a record. Paul tells us outside of the book of Acts. More information. So the church has a problem. They've stepped away from God. There's a perverted gospel. Paul has a gospel and he takes these verses 11 to 24 to tell you exactly where the gospel came from. It came from God, Jesus Christ himself. That's where the gospel came from. Revealed to Paul. And there's, uh, there's places you say, my gospel. And the fact is that Jesus Christ gave him that revelation. And he's got mysteries that God showed him that no one else knew. So these revelations that we'll learn about Paul that no one else knew about. Peter will say that Paul speaks hard, man. I have no idea. He's confusing me. They came from Jesus. Galatians chapter 1. 